Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is Rustam, and uh, today I'm going to record another video uh, for uh, my topic, uh, phonetics and phonology. This is uh, 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 segmental phonology, and uh, today's topic is consonant clusters. Okay. Now, uh, before I talk about consonant cluster, I would like to uh, here talk about uh, structure of syllable. A syllable has uh, two main parts. One is known as onset, and another one is known as rhyme. So, uh, let me this one. Okay. So, the rhyme further consists of a vowel and then a coda. So, we can simply uh, we can simplify this structure. We can say a syllable consists of onset, nucleus, and coda. Because uh, uh, Rhyme is further uh, rhyme further consists of two parts nucleus and coda. So, for students of BS, we can say uh, that there are three main parts: onset, nucleus, and coda. So, nucleus means a vowel, and coda uh, onset means vowels coming before the uh, uh, nucleus, and uh, uh, coda means vowel uh, coming after the uh, uh, nucleus. So as you can see here, there is a word cat. So this word has uh, uh, this word is uh, being uh, I have transcribed this like this, k. Then we have a, and then we have t. So there are three phonemes, are three uh, phonemes in this uh, you know three sounds in this word. So this one is known as onset. And this one is known as coda, and this is known as nucleus. So. Uh, we uh, please have a look at this slide. So syllable consists of onset, uh, a vowel, and a coda. So it means in a structure of a syllable, one phoneme must be a vowel. So the central uh, phoneme is known as vowel, and consonants are attached. Consonants are attached to this vowel, as you can see here. So a uh, maximum number of consonants which come which can come in the onset are three and maximum consonant which can come in the coda they are four and one uh, central part is known as vowel so there are maximum eight phonemes or eight major sounds which can come in one syllable so what is a syllable syllable is a sound a group of sound which can be articulated or which can be uttered with one chest pulse containing a vowel so it means in a in a syllable uh, there can be maximum seven consonants so consonants coming together in the onset or in the coda they are known as consonant cluster so this is our topic so what is consonant cluster that sequence of at least two consonant sounds coming together in one syllable are Combination of two or more consonants either in onset or coda of a syllable is known as consonant cluster. Here is an example of consonant cluster. Let me take you to the uh, examples. Okay, so okay, here is an example. See this word split S P L I T. There are five letters of alphabet. And again, the sounds are also five. As sorry, s, p, l, a, t. So there are three consonants. As you can see, they are coming together here, and here is one consonant in the coda. So in the onset, as I have shown here, onset, there are three consonants in the. Uh, this is nucleus. So let's not talk about nucleus. And here is coda. In the coda, there is one consonant. So it is not a cluster. But here is a cluster, like this one. Let me show you. This is known as cluster, consonant cluster. Okay. Now another example here is the word stamp. S T A M P, and it has been phonetically transcribed like this, as you can see here. S T A M P. So there are five phonemes. And out of these five phonemes, uh, two phonemes are here in the onset, two phonemes are in the coda. So, 
phonemes uh, coming before uh, the definition of a consonant cluster is two or more phonemes two or more consonant so here there are two consonants coming together in the onset so it is a consonant cluster consonant cluster so here again we have a consonant cluster in the coda so these two consonants this one and this one let me show you here separately this is known as consonant cluster and here again there is a consonant cluster so here i have again shown consonant cluster and consonant cluster let's go to another example here's a word g l i m p s e d these these are printing symbol are uh, letters of alphabet here is a phonetic transcription as you can see here so let us uh, uh, trace out the vowel this is vowel as you can see here so two consonants coming together here in the onset so it's a consonant cluster four phonemes or four consonant sounds coming in the coda so it's a consonant cluster so have a look here this uh, these two symbols phonetic symbols this one and this one g g l so they present a consonant cluster and uh, here these four phonemes are consonant they make up a consonant cluster so in the uh, coda there are four uh, consonants and in the onset there are two consonants so a consonant cluster can consist of minimum two consonants and maximum four consonants okay and uh, sometime it may consist of three consonants like s p l i t so here there are three phonemes a uh, three consonants so this cluster consists of three consonants this cluster consists of two consonants and uh, this cluster consists of uh, let me show you four co consonants so maximum consonant in a cluster are four and minimum uh, consonant in a cluster are two okay here is another example is a word next n e x t next but when we transcribed it it is like this next next so here as you can see now this is a consonant cluster because there are three consonants coming together here there is only one consonant so it is not a cluster this is a vowel sound or nucleus so here in the coda we have three consonants coming together so it is a consonant cluster okay here is another one text it's a plural t e x t s but this is a writing system the r orthography of english language so here is a transcription a phonemic transcription t e x s t s we don't pronounce it the way just i uh, did so we say t e k s t s like this so these are sounds now out of these sound this one is acting as a nucleus and here we can see four consonant uh, four consonants in the cluster this is not a consonant cluster so here we have a consonant cluster these four consonants are known as consonant cluster cluster mean group okay now let's uh, move on to this one this is a word strengths s t r e n g t h s let's count the letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are nine letters letters now sounds here are sounds as you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven sounds and here nine letters so out of these uh, uh, we, you can see uh, there are three consonants coming here three consonant coming here so this is a consonant cluster and this is a consonant cluster okay now moving on to this word books so it is uh, now letters of alphabet 1 2 3 4 5 there are five letters of alphabet but sounds are only four as we can see here books consonant vowel consonant and consonant so here we have a consonant cluster so see uh, this picture uh, this is our last picture now here is spelling c h a i n but the c h shows only one phoneme ch 
this is one phoneme as you can see here one phoneme okay because uh, we transcribe it like this chain chain like this okay Cons uh, this is a consonant this is a vowel and this is a consonant this vowel is known as diphthong and this is a consonant with double symbol so they are there are only three sounds now here is another word three as you can see here three is just uh, phonetically transcribed like this just a minute just a minute say three three so consonant consonant and a vowel so this is a consonant cluster okay but uh, be mindful that th it's a it's a spelling system but it represents only one sound this one dental sound th, th. and it's a one phoneme so here another uh, again we have th here but this th is a spelling system and but it represents this sound the the like we transcribe it like this let me transcribe it somewhere here this so there are three sounds consonant vowel consonant okay now so there is no consonant cluster yet so it means when we talk about consonant clusters we should not uh, 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 we should not base our uh, decision on the spelling system so it may be misleading so we need to transcribe these letter uh, these words into phonetic transcription then we will be able to know whether we have consonant clusters or not here sing s s i n g so maybe at the end we uh, we may have this consonant cluster but it is not consonant cluster c sing so there are uh, cons this is consonant vowel consonant so there are if there were two consonants we would have said that it's a consonant cluster so it is one phoneme so it is it is a single phoneme or single consonants so now shine this word is shine s h i n e it is is it is phonetically described like this shine shine see consonant vowel consonant there is no consonant cluster and this s and h uh, we should not uh, consider them as a separate phoneme or separate consonant in this word particularly they represent only one sound this is the sound as you can see here shh, it's a uh, it's a voiceless sound voiceless fricative so one phoneme is here now but see light l i g h t there are three uh, 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 letters coming together g h t but they represent only one uh, phoneme one consonant let me transcribe it for you light light okay consonant a vowel a consonant this is a diphthong so see this t this t represents all these three letters so this is spelling system and uh, you can see but the phoneme or consonant is only one so there is no consonant cluster in this word so we should not be misled by the sequence of these three letters g h t so this is spelling system but when we transcribe it like this then we come to know that there are only three sounds one two and three now palaya here p l e a s u r e palaya so if we write uh, phonetically we may have it like this palaya 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 so see now we have a consonant cluster two consonants coming together so this is a consonant cluster and bring b r i n g bring so yes it is a consonant cluster so it means that what is uh, let, let's uh, define consonant cluster again uh, let's go to the definition of consonant cluster uh, quickly so that we can uh, wind up the uh, okay sequence of at least two consonant sounds coming together in one syllable is known as consonant cluster or you can see combination of two or more consonants either in onset or coda of a syllable is known as consonant cluster so uh, i think uh, this uh, video 
covers the topic consonant cluster so you are requested to subscribe this channel and also press uh, bell icon so so that whenever i upload a new video you are notified and uh, mo uh, we will uh, in the next video we will be talking about sequence of uh, consonant uh, in the cluster like we say s p l so can uh, l come before p or can p come before s so there is a principle known as uh, sonority principle of sonority so we will be discussing this very important uh, uh, topic in the next video thank you very much